So this is the final of the women's 400 meters hurdles. An event which is uh, fairly open on paper, not much to choose on the times that they've recorded this year between the leading protagonists. Shamia Little, the world leader at 53.74, although she's had a very long collegiate uh, season leading into titles at uh, the US and Pan American Games. So there it is, Little, Child, Peterson, Hainover, Tate, Spencer, Nell and Russell, the lineup for the final of the women's 400 meter hurdles. So the athletes now introduced to the crowd. This is Shamia Nittle, who won the World Junior title last year and has really excelled this season at the age of 20. She's now the Pan American Games champion, the US champion, and the US collegiate champion. A little bit of struggle getting into this final, but now is the chance for her to show just what she's worth. Ailey, Ailey Child, European champion last year, Commonwealth silver medals, both in 2010 and in 2014, she goes in lane three. Sarah Peterson, the Danish athlete who's had a wonderful breakthrough season at the end of 28, stuck in the mid 55s for years, but now she's come down to 53.99. Second in Paris, second in Stockholm, first in Lausanne in Diamond League action. Susanna Hainover, back at her best after that unbeaten season that she had in 2013 when she won the world title. The best of that year of 52.83. And then in lane six, Cassandra Tate. Very consistent this year with a, a second and three thirds and a couple of fourths in Diamond League action. And she's running very close to her best in each round here. Kelly Spencer was the Commonwealth champion for Jamaica. Just a little bit of interruption in her training schedule this year. So her best though, 54.01. She was the world number one last year. Then we have Wenda Nell of South Africa, also running close to her best here. Last year's African champion has run 54.37 this year. And on the outside, another youngster, the 21-year-old Geneve Russell for Jamaica, world junior champion in 2012, and the Commonwealth bronze medalist last year. In fact, do have the one, two, three from the Commonwealth Games last year in uh, Spencer, Child and Russell, all in this final. Former champion with Hainava. And the new star, the world leader, Shamia Little on the inside. Little, Child, Peterson, Hainava, Tate, Spencer, Nell and Russell, the final of the women's 400 meters hurdles. It's a lot of attention down the other end of the stadium because uh, uh, Li Ling is in action, the Chinese pole vaulter attempting an Asian record. So uh, the crowd will no doubt respond if they see her going. So a faulty start, that green card shown to the athletes. So they settled into their blocks then. Little, Child, Peterson, Hainova, Tate, Spencer, Nell, and Russell. they go then and who's going to be first to rise certainly a good start for Cassandra Tate of the US who always got hard she's opened up a bit of a gap over Hainova and the Nell of South Africa also going strongly but at this early stage it's Cassandra Tate who loves to go out hard but Hainova is narrowing the gap faster and on that back straight child of Great Britain is up on Peterson in the inside lanes Peterson one of those athletes who loves to come through so it's pretty close and it's Hainova who leads Passing by the pole vault where the noise is, and Hainova it is who's now overtaken Tate to take the lead. Russell right on the outside, and Hainova coming clear of the field. Little on the inside is finishing strongly though. It's Hainova looking set to retain her title. Hainova takes that last barrier. She's surely going to retain her title. Hainova comes through to win. Little takes second place in third. 
just behind is uh, Cassandra Tate, who got off very hard, of course, and came through to finish. And Peterson also finishing very strongly. And the time at 53.50 is fittingly the world leading time this year and a splendid run back to her best for the Czech athlete, Heinova. That was absolutely superb from Heinova. A really, really classy win. No woman has ever successfully retained this title, but she's become the first. A torrid, torrid time with injury since Moscow, and she's peaked once again at the right time. And what a brilliant run for Shamir Little in second place. She's looked a little bit tired coming into this championship, which is no wonder. Reigning world junior champion, she's won the Pan American title. A great, great recovery from a really awkward lane. Tate went out hard, she had to really. She's rewarded with a place on the podium. But Heinova creates a little piece of history here in Beijing. She really is turning out to be a dominant force in this event. But what a massive future Shamir Little has after a fabulously composed performance from one so young for the silver. Well, indeed, a splendid run indeed by Little um, because she struggled. She was the slowest qualifier from the first round heat ran better in the semis and then a splendid run in the final she really is a, a star because of that long season and one might have felt that after going through the u.s collegiate season there wouldn't be so much left but wow three major titles since then but hey never yep it's great to see her back after that wonderful season that she had in 2013 she then broke a bone in her foot and uh, didn't return to competition for another six months so just had a few competitions last summer and she's worked her way back to her best this year. Cassandra Tate, very consistent indeed. And her time of 54.02, just a hundredth of a second outside her personal best. Well, the American fortunes haven't been so good in these championships, but getting two medals in... This event will help them. Little and Tate delivering the goods here. Well, let's take a look again. And it's an interesting way. Cassandra Tate went out so hard as always, but Heinova had a splendid run down the back straight, round the turn, and then came in and still maintaining her style, maintaining her rhythm, maintaining her composure to come through to win this title in great style. Good hurdling, as also was the case with Little. And Tate holding on very well. Peterson left it just a little bit too late as she comes up there in fourth place. Quick flashback to that 400 metre hurdle victory. Little in second place. Well, Hinova really dominated that race. Beautiful technique all the way through, no problems at all. Coming off the bench, she literally pulled away from the rest of the field, so great run from her. Gold medal going to Zuzana Heinova of the Czech Republic, 53.50, a world leading times. Silver to Shamia Little of the USA, 53.94. And bronze to Cassandra Tate of the USA, 54.02.